Megan is Crystal from Osatium, Hatha certified yoga instructor trained in Mysore, India. This is the series where we're spotlighting a chakra, a yoga pose related to it, and a corresponding sound frequency. Sacral chakra or Swadhisthana. So this is your passion and pleasure center located just below the navel. It is connected to your creativity, your emotions, and person to person connection. Let's get into the poses. So pigeon pose or a kapotanasana, there are a couple ways to get into this one, but we're gonna start on our hands and knees in tabletop. We're gonna pull one leg in, pull the knee all the way through the hands, bring that foot out so that it's not on your mat anymore. The toes are touching whatever's under your mat. You're gonna lower the hips down into that pose, down into your mat, stretch the straightened leg behind you and you can just hold here allow the hips to open up they'll start to open a little more with every few breaths and you just want to sit and breathe in this this is one of those poses that you can hold for a really long time it feels good because it's releasing all the tension out of the hips and the hips sometimes is where we hold a lot of tension a lot of grief there are a few variations of this one you can go ahead and bring it down leaning forward hinging at the hip when you're here we want to make sure to press into that left hip so that the hips are stabilized You can bring this all the way down, stretching the hands out, lowering the chest. This is a variation here. Or you can bring it up and lift the chest even more, bringing the chest and shoulders back. This is just deepening it, it's opening everything. So if we're starting from the hips and we're opening up that emotion center and then we're opening the chest, opening the rest of the body, it just allows the energy to release, get up out of you and dissipate. So, ooh, I'm gonna do the other side. I love that one. I wish we could spend more time in it. You can spend more time in it. So we're just gonna breathe here. Another variation of this one is bringing the shin parallel to the short side of your mat. And again, once you get into this, then you're gonna press the right hip into your mat so you can start to neutralize or stabilize the hips. And again, just breathe into this. I'm gonna bring it in. Can lower the hips if that feels good to you. Again, this just feels good because you're releasing so much, but it's also a little bit of a passive release because you're not doing a lot of work. You're not standing. You're allowing gravity to do the work for you. You feel it, but it's passive. Another pose that targets the sacral chakra is another hip opener. Um, and again, it's just because the hips are in this general area, right? We're focusing on basically the reproductive organs here. So we're opening up the hips, we're opening up that creativity center, and there's something that happens emotionally in us when we open the hips because a lot of people hold grief here. We're gonna go into frog pose next. We're just gonna open up the knees first, right? We're resting on the hands so we can raise the hips up off your mat. We're opening up the knees and from here we're gonna open the feet. So you want to bring the feet out and bring the ankles in line with the knees, bring the insides of the feet flat. So everything is open here. I'm gonna show you a different angle. So again we're bringing, we're bringing the knees out. It is natural for us to want to bring the feet together to stabilize us. What we're doing in frog pose is opening the feet. We want to bring the ankles in line with the knees and then we want to bring the insides of the feet flat. So once you're here you can hold this 
Now my chest is really high here, just to give you an idea of where we are. But eventually with the ankles in line with the knees, the insides of the feet flat, we're gonna start to lower the chest. You can come down onto the elbows, the forearms, and just breathe here. Now another variation of this is opening a little more and coming all the way down, bringing the chest down. Now, depends on where you are. You can take that further if you want to. So from here, you can hold either of those poses as we do some affirmations. So pick one that feels good to you. I'm gonna go ahead and hold my pigeon. So while we hold our chosen poses, we're gonna listen to the sound frequency of 417 Hertz, which is associated with the sacral chakra. I'm allowed to feel my emotions as deeply as I need to. I am allowed to feel my emotions as deeply as I need to. I am allowed to feel my emotions as deeply as I need to. Relationships that water me. I water the relationships that water me. I water the relationships that water me. Thank you so much for joining. Next, we're gonna move on up to the solar plexus chakra. Mm -hmm. 